What's up guys, Graded Gems, and I bet you weren't expecting me to be back so soon, um, and I wasn't either. <laughs> Let's just say PSA has gotten their stuff together, um, and they've done a tremendous job of getting at least my orders out, which I'm super, super appreciative of. We've got one box, we've got two boxes, so we've got some good cards to go through. Um, not sure what this order is. I think they did it kind of out of order. It's a little strange. Um, like when I look at my PS, my current PSA orders, I think this is like one of the more recent ones, and one of my older ones are is like you know still not shipped out. Uh, who knows how they go about it? But it's definitely not by you know date received or anything like that. But yeah, I'm super stoked to go through this. I hope we get some awesome grades just like last video. If you guys didn't uh, see it, please check out my last PSA return video. It was absolutely fire. It was amazing. Um, couldn't have asked for better grades. Um, it's funny because like a lot of the other cards I looked over afterwards and I was like, these definitely also <laughs> deserve 10s, but like, you know what? They gave me 10s on the big stuff, so not going to complain. So let's start her out. I think this should be um, either a mix of Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, or maybe it's just Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, majority of my cards will most likely be Yu-Gi-Oh going forward, at least until the Pokemon market picks up again. So, uh, yeah, let's hope for some good grades, guys. We are starting off with a... Oh, nice. A Mint 9 Gate Guardian. Very pretty card. If you guys saw my last video, you would have seen I pulled a Gem Mint 10 of this. Honestly, one of my favorite, favorite cards of Metal Raiders. Um, I think my favorite being Summon Skull. Um, centering is definitely a little bit off, left to right, but a 9. Amazing. Alright, we got a... Near Mint to Mint 8 Jinzo. Oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> it's definitely due to that centering. Um, Feral Servant, not favorable in terms of centering. Uh, definitely one of those hard chase cards. I have not graded a Gem Mint 10 Jinzo as of yet. Um, really hoping to one day. Uh, but they are really expensive and really hard to find in nice condition nowadays. We've got a near mint to mint a dark paladin, the alternate art. So this card, as you may all know, is super rare, very difficult to find. Um, one of those cards that uh, I would have called maybe a couple of months, like a almost like a, a shonen jump prize card, but you know, due to recent information. There's been more of these graded, but yeah, near mint to mint eight, not bad, not bad. I actually thought that could have pulled a nine, but it's okay. Still a very rare card. We got a, oh, we got a fire princess near mint to mint eight as well. So this is definitely one of those very, very difficult to grade cards. Um, I, don't know why I sent this one in. There's definitely no way in hell this was gonna ever get a pull of a 10, but that's okay. Um, maybe I was putting it in just, just to see how difficult it, <laughs> just to see how difficult it was. Sometimes I just put in like old cards uh, just to see what they will get. Um, holy cow, this is an excellent five. I think this is the lowest grade I've actually ever gone. My god, my god. I definitely have never pulled a 5 before. Um, that's so weird because I'm pretty sure like this as well as the Fire Princess, well this kind of makes sense I guess. Um, they're both extremely clean. And also this is one of those very difficult cards to grade. Uh, Lawn, also notorious for being extremely difficult to grade. We got a Mint 9 Jinso, very nice. So. One one step above the eight, which is great. Gotta love Jinso. 
such an overpowered card actually. Um, once you get it out, they really can't get rid of it. We got an excellent 5 SDK Blue Eyes first edition. Oh man, I guys, I think I've gotten a really, really harsh grader this time. Well, we'll see how the rest of the submission goes, who knows, but uh, you know, maybe it's a little bit of karma for the last one. <laughs> you know, you can't always get amazing grades. Um, so far, I think I've gone in general uh, okay graders, like pretty fair, like my first enormous uh, bulk PSA submission I ever got was, I would say, uh, decent, like it was an, it was similar to the last last video I uploaded where I got a lot of tens on extremely expensive cards, which is always good. But even my lower end cards, which were I I cracked out maybe one or two, um, just to try cracking something out, and I I swear those cards were like perfect. So I knew the grader was definitely like trying to not give me too many tens. Oh, this looks like an ultimate rare. There's. Definitely some of that um, imprinting from the heavy stamp. Okay, we got it. Oh, nice. We got a Mint 9 Duelist Kaiba pack. Crush Card Virus First Edition. Very awesome. I think this card is really beautiful, but obviously the uh, Shonen Jump version is, in my opinion, the, uh, well, also most people's opinion, the best version of this card, obviously. And not only that, though, uh, getting those prize cards is a difficult task um, although I don't really I don't love them the only card I would ever see myself wanting to get would probably be the Cyberstein and what do we got here it looks super clean we got a near mint to mint 8 dark magician of chaos all right this is well centered so maybe there's some edge wear but uh, yeah usually you can tell like from the first couple of cards at least based on what I've seen on YouTube and what I've gotten returned back that, um, you know, you've gotten a more strict grader or not strict grader. Um, I would say a majority of my graders have been pretty fair. Uh, my BGS one, uh, I don't know, he was pretty strict. But I then again, like, you know, I think BGS has stricter standards in general. So, um, but for PSA, they've been pretty consistent. Uh, but let's continue on to see. All right, we got another... Mint 9, Gate Guardian. I still have like... Like five other one of these like... Lying around that have even worse centering issues. Uh, and I'm really hoping... To just sell those off as near mint copies because... You know, you just can't grade them. So no 10s as of yet guys. Still looking for a 10. All right, we got another Mint 9 Gate Guardian, first edition. Love this card. Very nice. What else we got? I think that was three so far. We've got a, oh man, getting killed with, with these SDK blue eyes is definitely not the centering, uh, maybe like I must have missed something on this, but that is crazy. I can't believe I can't believe I got a four on this, but that's okay. It is a really old card, so um, you know you're bound to get some lower grades on some of this, especially if you're not looking carefully. But uh, still very nostalgic, especially with those starter deck Kaibas creeping up in price. Um, I think I saw one sold for like. Over a thousand dollars or something crazy like that. We got a... Okay, this is better, but this is the unlimited. Um, near Mint to Mint 8, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay, that's that's not bad. You can see the... I think there's a difference in, like... There's a huge difference in the hollow. Like, look at how much gloss this one has. And look how dark this one is. It's barely showing up on camera that it's hollow. <laughs> But yeah, I guess depending on the printing, um, you know, you'll get something really different. Even the coloring of the actual card, um, I know is very different. Oh, nice! We got our first gem in ten, and it's a and it's a SDK Blue Eyes. This is a good. This is this is a very nice surprise. Um, I guess I, I wasn't expecting it. I kind of thought that maybe the submission I would just get like 
no tens or something like that. But that's that's a really good card to get in a ten. Um, you know, unlimited uh, blue eyes. They only go for like what 15, 20 bucks. But once graded at a ten, it really increases the value by a lot. And that's because they're not easy to grade. And uh, I guess a lot of people like you know have these lying around, try to grade them, and the pop report is littered with like tons of fours and like fives and like eights for example but uh hard to get a 10 guys all right what else we got come on give me a 10 all right we got a mint nine sdk blue eyes i i kind of remember this submission or i kind of remember it now seeing all these sdk blue eyes um i think i have a couple more oh looks like we have okay this is actually some pokemon so we have a mint nine gengar Okay, so I guess I had one more of these that I submitted, and this guy looked extremely clean when I was looking through it. Oh man, look at that crazy hollow. Never gonna get sick of looking at these Sky Ridge Pokemon cards. Where does that go? It goes there. We've got a Gold Star Pikachu, all right, near mint seven. That's not bad. I think I had one, I have one in six as well. Um, so that's pretty good. Very nice. I got some gold stars in the last uh, BVS submission too, and uh, they did all right. I think I got a Jolteon in BGS 8.5 or something like that. All right, we got a Shining Kabutops, near mint to mint eight. That is definitely not a bad grade at all. Um, like, I really like the Neo Destiny set because of how many Shining Pokemons they have. Like, most, majority of the other sets, um, I think it's Neo Revelation, like, don't quote me on that, but I think that's the one where they first introduced Shining. Like, whatever the first one was, with the Shining Ma Magikarp, as well as the Shining Gyarados, um, like, that set was pretty, pretty good too, actually, but only had the two Shining Pokemons, and... You know, Neo Destiny, very well known for its Shining Charizard. And the boxes, I think, are one of the most expensive in the Pokemon um, game. So what else we got? We got a Near Mint Plus 7.5. That is extremely weird of a grade. <laughs> that is so weird of a grade. I've never seen that for PSA, actually. Uh, Shadowless Charizard. So... That's pretty good still. Um, we've got some little bit of, is that a little bit of edgeware maybe? Yeah, um, I guess so. Um, but yeah, that's a 7.5 Charizard. Super nice. Okay, so let's open up box number two. Right, so let us see what we have. We've got a near mint to mint eight Chaos Emperor Dragon, and this guy is extremely difficult to grade. One of the most difficult cards to grade in Invasion of Chaos, probably followed by Black Luster Soldier. Centering is pretty good on this guy, though, guys. So probably some scratching maybe on the back um yeah so we have we have a, a near mint seven yeah this is actually uh pretty well centered as well so yep i guess we definitely did get a really harsh grader this time guys but that's okay um you know it was bound to happen uh i've seen lots of Lots of returns and a lot of guys complain about like getting their cards damaged and everything even and that's even worse of a thing to happen. We've got a mint nine, the last warrior from another planet. It's just way too long. They can't even they can't even put that in the title. <laughs> Alright. We have a near mint to mint eight dark magician of chaos. Very nice, Invasion of Chaos. That's another good one that's pretty well centered. And like, the trio from that set, like, 
I actually haven't seen many pictures of people posting up that those big three from IOC, but it's pretty crazy because IOC came like I think it was Magician's Force and then IOC. Um, and it's pretty interesting that they are so close together in set, um, like, I guess, set number or s set sequence. And uh, they are actually much newer than, you know, most of these, like, PSV, MRL sets. But they hold really high price points. So what else we got? We got a Gem Mint 10 on Nice, the Legendary Fisherman. First edition from Feral Servant. That's a really, really good card to get in tens. I really like the artwork, especially that green background. And uh, I remember my BGS submission, they gave me a, a non-grade for it, or a tampered with card, I guess you could say. <laughs> We've got a Mint 9 on the Spellbinding Circle. First edition from Magic Ruler. Also used a lot um, in the show. So very, quite nostalgic. I'm trying to remember. I think it was Yugi who used this. But I could be wrong. We've got a nice, a gem in 10 on the Solemn Judgment. Very nice, Metal Raiders. Wow, that is, that is beautiful. That is truly beautiful. And I was looking for one of these as well because, well, I was trying to at least. Um, I actually bought mine, <laughs> and because uh, I didn't think that um, I could grade one, I I think I sent in two, in my first order, and they both came back as nines. So I thought that maybe they were, and they were pretty cheap on eBay. I think they were like only like two hundred bucks or something like that. We got an excellent to mint six on the guy of the fierce knight. That's unfortunate and a really low grade. I've, again, I wonder what what problem they're seeing. Uh, let me get it to focus. Like that's like just fluff. I thought it was whitening, but I guess not. Um, okay, so yeah, an excellent to mint six guy of the fierce knight. The glossy variant, all its glory. LOB, certainly the base set of Yu-Gi-Oh. We've got a near mint to mint eight, Ring of Destruction. Very nice. And yeah, this is definitely off-centered, top to bottom. So, what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> I think uh, I haven't really seen many sales of uh, Pharaonic Guardian actually, so don't see too many of these online. So, might be a good pickup now if you're still looking for it. Just like when I bought my Solemn Judgment, I think I bought it for like 200 bucks. Not that expensive, uh, in my opinion. So we got a okay a near mint to mint a eight Exodia head from Dark Duel Stories. Awesome. This is a very clean prismatic rare. Got a near mint seven, a ghost rare, blue eyes white dragon. All right, so a uh, pretty big step down from the last submission where I got two. I think two of these in tens, and uh, I guess this was one of my last ones. It's funny, like I'm pretty sure I ordered them all from the same seller, so maybe this one's got. Trying to see if there's any scratches on the hollow because as you all know, ghost rares are definitely very prone to scratching on the surface, but I don't see any actually. Alright, what else we got? We've got a near mint to mint eight red eyes ghost dragon. <laughs> red eyes black dragon, but in ghost rare. So I think this is my last one that I could get. Um last one I got was a Mint 9, unfortunate, but uh, hey, that's okay. This is definitely one of those cards that, um, actually, I don't know if there's a lot of these out in the market, but I do know that, like, it's the only Ghost Rare version of um, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and I, I do like that it doesn't have the, 
I don't know if you guys can tell like the difference. There's like crazy rainbow streaks on this one. The 20th anniversary pack, they decided to add that in. I don't know why. Um, I think this is much prettier. Uh, just like the North American Ghost Rares. We've got a Mince 9 Blue Eyes White Dragon from Duelist Pack Kaiba, first edition. That's good. That's a nice card. So, again, the hollow is extremely shiny on this one, comparatively to some of the starter deck Kaiba ones. We've got a Mint 9 on the Dark Magician DDS. Again, an absolute gorgeous card on camera. Like, you really, it really doesn't get more shiny than Dark Duel Stories, guys. Amazing Prismatic Rare. Last card. Can we get a 10? No, we can't. We got another Near Mint to Mint 8 Gate Guardian. So, not the best of submission, guys, but, you know, you could kind of tell from the beginning. Um, definitely, definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, probably going to end up selling the Solemn Judgment because, well, I wasn't actually expecting it to get a 10. And, uh, yeah, please subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, um, and uh, let me know what you guys think. We got three tens only this time, so, uh, you know, balancing out with uh, the other submissions. All right, guys, Greater Gems, it's been a pleasure. Take care.